Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian and welcome to my September TBR. So I have been pretty bad at doing TBR videos the past few months. I did do one for August, but I didn't use my prompt jar, which is what I normally do. I think the last time I used my prompt jar was May, I think, but she's back coming in strong for September. I'm so excited to be using my prompt jar again. I am just so excited <laughs> to be uh, moving on from the summer, honestly. Uh, if you guys don't know, I was working my first library job this summer and I was working full time. And although it was great, it was great experience and I'm very thankful to have had that job, but it took up a lot of my time. You may have noticed I was not good at posting videos this summer and that is the main reason why. So I'm honestly just happy that that's over. I am starting school actually in less than a week from the day I'm filming this. So I will be getting back into the swing of things in September uh, in terms of school, but my schedule gives me a lot of days off, thankfully. I didn't do it on purpose, that's just kind of how it worked out. So I'm hoping that means that I can keep up with making content and I'm hoping that means I can get back really into reading. My reading has not been good this summer. Like, I feel like I've barely read anything. And it's not even that I'm in a slump. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I guess I'm in a slump. I don't know. Like, my desire to read is there, but I'm just not reading very fast. And I know that's fine, but also, like, I, there's so many books I want to read. So I'm really hoping September is kind of like a reset month in terms of my reading, in terms of my channel. And I think the best way to do that is to bring this bad boy back. So there is a video that I'm hoping to film in September and I have a lot of books to read for that video. So I'm hoping I could fit some of those books into whatever the prompt char gives me, but we'll see how that goes. So at the beginning of the year, I set two new rules in terms of my prom jar and I'm still gonna enact them in this video. So one of those rules was that I have a safe book so I don't have to fit this book into a prompt. I'm just gonna add it to my TBR regardless and then at the end of the video, if there's a book that I got that I don't really feel like reading this month, I can switch it out for this book or I'll just add this book to the TBR, which is often what happens. But the book that I'm definitely going to be reading in September, like there's no question about it because I've just heard so much hype for this book and I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. That is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I've just heard only amazing things about this book and so many people I trust have absolutely loved this book. All I really know is that there's, I think it's enemies to lovers, I mean rivals, you would think, and I think they start writing letters to each other and through those letters they start to fall in love. Like that's all I really know. I think it's fantasy, I'm quite sure. When two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection they must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fate forever. Oh interesting. I mean, I guess I should divine, you know. Anyways, um, but yeah, this is my safe book for the month because I'm definitely going to be reading it in September, so I wanted to make sure it got on the TBR. The other rule that I had for myself is that uh, I have one veto for a prompt per month because normally I just take whatever prompt I get, but if there's a prompt that is too complicated that I don't feel like doing, like I can tell you right now I'm not doing any like pet picks or anything like that today because <laughs> I'm not leaving my room. Often I have to go find books around my house. If I have to do that, I'm not gonna do that. I'll put the picture of the book on the screen if I have to, but I am filming <laughs> this video in my room and I'm not leaving. I'm so tired. <laughs> also, there is people in my house right now. People I know. <laughs> it's not just like there's random people in my house, but I don't want to disturb anyone, so... Anyways, I went off on a tangent, but without further ado, Let's get started. The first prompt, I am so hoping I can fit some of the books that are part of this like secret TBR video into this TBR because that would just be very helpful. But here is the first prompt for September, which is if I, oh God. <laughs> uh, okay, shuffle your playlist and read a book that makes you think of that song. I feel like I get this prompt so often um but all right okay so which playlist should i 
shuffle because now I used to have like one big playlist of all the songs that I ever listened to but I haven't been keeping that one updated so maybe I'll do like my shower playlist. You're just gonna have to trust me because I'm not gonna screen record <laughs> but you'll hear you'll hear the beginning of the song. So let's see what the song is. Play. Oh. Hold on. Wait for it. Don't feel it all. Okay, so <laughs> if you don't know that song, it's Better by Gracie Abrams. So, oh god. Okay, let me look at the lyrics and see if there's anything that reminds me of something. All right, so <laughs> This might be a bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna make it work and you guys are just gonna have to roll with it. So after reading the lyrics, because like I know this song, but I don't know it as well as some of Gracie Abrams' other songs. So it's basically about a breakup and she's saying like, I went through all this shit and so I hope it was worth it and I hope you're feeling better now. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make it work it's fine so the book I'm gonna read for this prompt is you could make this place beautiful by Maggie Smith not Maggie Smith the actress um, this is a different Maggie Smith but this is a memoir but I think it's like it's almost written in a story like way does that make any sense I don't know but let me read you a bit of the synopsis and then maybe you'll see where I'm coming from, I don't know. But it says, in her memoir, You Can Make This Place Beautiful, poet Maggie Smith explores the disintegration of her marriage and her renewed commitment to herself in lyrical vignettes that shine hard and clear as jewels. The book begins with one woman's personal particular heartbreak, heartbreak, <laughs> but its circles widen into a reckoning with contemporary womanhood, traditional gender roles, and the power dynamics that persist even in many progressive homes. With the spirit of self-inquiry and empathy she's known for, Smith interweaves snapshots of a life with meditations on secrets, anger, forgiveness, and narrative itself. The power of these pieces is cumulative. Page after page, they build into a larger interrogation of family, work, and patriarchy. So obviously it explores um, the separation from her and her husband. And so I'm gonna kind of twist it a little bit. And like, because in this song, she keeps saying like, hope you feel better now. And so I think it's, about Maggie Smith's story and how she learns to feel better about her own life and how like I think it's about self-discovery and finding yourself again after heartbreak and so I think I could make it work <laughs> but we'll see I guess when we read the book but I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna read this book for this prompt and hopefully you guys are fine with that. <laughs> All right, so that worked out fairly well because that's one of the books I need to read. So let's just keep going. So prompt number two will be this one, which is already seen. <laughs> no. Read an arc is what I got. Now I should, this is something I should do is read an arc. It's just that none of the books for that video are arcs. Do I want to veto this prompt already? But what if I get another one? Cause I really, I really, I didn't get any of these as arcs, eh? Okay, you know what? I, I feel like I need to save my veto just in case. So I'm just gonna, okay. <laughs> so the book I'm gonna pick for this prompt, it's downstairs, but like I said, I'm not leaving my room. So the book is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. I got the arc from my work at the bookstore that I work at many months ago and I never read it so obviously the book is out now but I do have the art copy so it counts it's fine but all I know is that this is I think her first adult fantasy I think and I know it's an Antony and Cleopatra retelling and that's all I really know except I think there's a competition which is like a buzzword for me so I think it's gonna be good I saw books and Lala gave it five stars so <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, but uh, it's not one of the books that I needed to read this month, but it's probably a good idea that I read it because like I said, I, I've had the arc for a long time and I don't want it to sit there any longer, especially because the book is out. So I will add that to the TBR and hopefully it's good. <laughs> All right, let's go for... Also, I should have said in case this is your first time watching me use my prompter, I always pick five prompts 
because your girl, especially lately, does not read as much as some other booktubers. So prom number three for September is, okay, read a book by an author you've never read. So this is perfect because I think most of the, if not all of the books, no, not all of them, but most of the books are from authors I've never read. So now I just gotta pick one. Okay, so I picked this one partly because I own it. So I can show you, <laughs> I can show it to you guys. But that is, I have some questions for you by Rebecca Mackay. And obviously I have never read one of her books before, but let me read a bit of the synopsis because every time I read it, I get excited about it and then I completely forget what it's about. So I'll read a bit of the beginning of the synopsis. It says, a successful film professor and podcaster, Bodie Kane is content to forget her past. The family tragedy that marred her adolescence, her four largely miserable years at a New Hampshire boarding school, and the murder of her former roommate, Talia Keith, in the spring of their senior year. Though the circumstances surrounding Talia's death and the conviction of the school's athletic trainer, Omar Evans, are hotly debated online, Bodhi prefers needs to let sleeping dogs lie. And then I think she starts teaching at this school. Is it the same school? I think it's the same school. And then there's like a mystery from the past that kind of becomes intertwined with what happened to her roommate, something like that. I honestly have not heard many people talk about this book. It came out this year, but like Ruman Alam blurbed it, who wrote Leave the World Behind, which is a book I love. Something about it intrigues me. I love this cover. So I'm gonna use this for this prompt. Let's go. I'm gonna try to take something from the bottom without spilling everything. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. So prompt number four. Read a book written by a person of color. Okay. All right, so the book I'm gonna choose, it's another book that I don't own, but it's called Chain Gang All Stars by Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. I am so sorry if I butchered that, but it is a science fiction novel and it's queer. I really don't know what this is about, so let's read a bit of the synopsis. So, two top women gladiators fight for their freedom within a depraved private prison system not so far removed from America's own. Loretta Thurwar and Hamara Hurricane Stack Stacker are the stars of Chain Gang All Stars, the cornerstone of CAPE, or Criminal Action Penal Entertainment, a highly popular, highly controversial, profit-raising program in America's increasingly dominant private prison industry. Damn. It's the return of the gladiators and prisoners. What? It's the return. Oh. <laughs> it's the return of the gladiators and prisoners are competing for the ultimate prize, their freedom. That sounds very intense. I don't want to read more than that, but damn. That sounds very interesting. So I am very excited to get to that this month. Okay, we're already at the last prompt. I'd say this is going fairly well. Again, I would like to get a prompt from the bottom. I am holding too many. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. So last prompt and I still have my veto if I would like to use it. Okay, interesting. Read a book. Read a book with the ace flag colors on the cover. See, I love that. But can I find one is the question. Now, I mean, I can think of one book that I would like to read that literally has the ace flag on it, but it's not one of the books that I need to read this month. So let me just check out. So we're looking for purple, white, black, and gray. All right, let's look at this. Okay, there's purple, there's black. I mean, there's white, the font is white. Would you say that's gray? I think there's definitely gray on this cover, but let's see if we can find something better. A few moments later. So, the book I'm gonna choose is Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano. Now, I know when you look at this cover, you don't think ace, <laughs> the ace flag, you know? I mean, but let's take a look at it, okay? There's definitely purple, like, on her cheek. There's black, her eyebrows, there's white, the font is white, and then gray, I would say in like a few parts there is gray, okay? So we're gonna go with that. So this is a book that has been taking up when I was still working at the library. This book was always checked out, everyone wanted it. I don't completely know what it is. I know it's literary fiction. Oh, and it's historical fiction apparently. So let's see. It says, an emotionally layered and engrossing story of a family that asks, can love make a broken person whole? 
Maybe, who knows? William Waters grew up in a house silenced by tragedy where his parents could hardly bear to look at him, much less love him. So it's a relief when his skill on the basketball court or, uh, earns him a scholarship to college far away from his childhood. But it sounds like it's gonna be a wild time. I really like reading about family dynamics, especially siblings. So that sounds great. And I know the cover does not scream the ace colors, but <laughs> I think you could find each of those colors in this cover. That's all I'm saying. So I there's no book in this TBR that I want to take out to replace Divine Rivals with. If I had to choose one, it would be Immortal Longings just because it's not part of the video that I am planning on doing. So if I had to take out one, it would be Immortal Longings and I'll replace it with Divine Rivals. But now that I'm talking about Immortal Longings, I want to read it. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see what happens. But those are definitely options. And I, of course, will be reading Divine Rivals. And then there's a bunch of other books that I need to read for that video. And I'll show you guys another one that maybe I'll get to in September, but maybe not because she's really big. But A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. It is honestly a crime that I have not read this yet. This is the prequel to Pry of the Orange Tree, which is one of my favorite books. And I got this the day it came out and I still haven't read it. If I have time <laughs> to read, how long is this? Like 800 pages? Yeah, if I have time to read an 800 page fantasy, then I'll read this, but I might have to save this for October, even though it's not very spoopy. That's another thing is that the ones I don't get to, I'll read in October, but I want to read like fall things. Anyways, I should have planned this better, but it's fine. So hopefully I can read this too. So that's it for my September TBR. Who knows how many of these I'll actually read because I've been very bad at sticking to TBRs lately. I'm still trying to finish my Magical Readathon TBR, which to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to do before the end of August. So some of those might roll into the month of September. We'll see what happens, but hopefully regardless, September will be a good reading month. Let me know what you guys are planning on reading in September. And if you've read any of these, which ones should I prioritize? I would love to know. But uh, if you are still here and have watched till the end, leave, what should you leave? Leave like the question mark <laughs> emoji for I have some questions for you. I think that would be fun. So yeah, and then if anyone stumbles upon this video, they'll be like, why is everyone confused in the comments, you know? Anyways, leave that emoji down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye!